What's up, guys? Funeral services are held right now as we speak, you know, for um, Officer Familius. You know, like it was Familius, you know, was a police officer in the NYPD who got shot, fatally shot last week on the 5th by um, Alexander Bonds. Um, I guess it was 12.30 at night, and, you know, the dude Bonds was around, and she was, you know, patrolling the area in the, in the Bronx. So, um, I don't know where the dude comes and tries to ambush his heart, and it's just Bonds hits a shooter in the head, and shots the people, the cops, I heard it in walkie-talkies, you know, shot fired, officer down, officer down, it was just crazy, man. It was just, um, you know, it's fucked the situation, it's pretty fucked up, you know, she had three kids, single mother, and, you know, she was up there, you know, detective-wise, um, you know, people say this and that about cops, and, you know, you know, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes cops, they're good cops and bad cops, but not all cops are bad, you know, at the end of the day, they're doing what they gotta do for their kids, to support them and what, and, you know, do what they gotta do to protect and serve, you know, the community and for the state of New York, man, and this is what, this is what happens, you know what I'm saying, and it's pretty fucked up, Honestly, you know, NYPD, they deal with a lot of BS, man, out there, South the County, they don't even deal with shit compared to New City, man, NYPD cops get, get dealt with the most BS, honestly, people, they talk, they bring the NYPD down most of the time, most of them, you know, get, you know, it's not like Suffolk, you know, Suffolk cops get paid a lot too, but you don't see them dealing with getting shot, you know, people shooting at something like that, it's NYPD, it's just crazy, man, how um, things are in the NYPD, things are a lot of shit going down. And, you know, the fact that, you know, I went to school for criminal justice, you know, I'm taking as many exams as I can, you know, at the end of the day, I'm doing what I gotta do, but I thought, I think about it, I'm like, yo, is it really, you know, I want to risk my life over something, you know, because of, over, you know, being, protecting, serving the community, you know, it's pretty fucked up, you know, but at the end of the day, she didn't, you know, things happen, you know. When you when you risk you know you risk your life every day when you when you're a cop and shit like that and it's crazy people got to really understand have another have um look um you know compassion on on those NYPD officers and how have a lot of more respect for them that they go out there and risk their lives every fucking day you know like this lady like this officer you know familiar you know she did what she had to do. You know, she was protecting herself. She did what she had to do for to, for her family. You know, and this is what she deserves. No, of course not. And the guy that did, did it was supposedly in the Bloods. You know, he had a he stole that gun from in, from Virginia. And this dude, he was bashing cops last year too. Supposedly he was on. He had a video on himself talking about corrections office, correcting officers, beating up inmates in Rikers Island, all kind of shit. And the dude, dude just hated cops, pretty much, you know? and he did what he had to do, he, supposedly, he did what, supposedly, he, th he thought it was the right thing, but it wasn't, police shot him down once they found him, and that's what, you know, that's what happens, man, you know, you deal with a lot of bullshit out here, man, you're taking your own, it, it, sometimes, you, you t they take your own life, is it really worth it, you know, at the end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, police, you, you're working for a corrupt state anyway. You're working for a corrupt society, elites. At the end of the day, you're working for the elites. You understand that. And, you know, any police officer anywhere, in Suffolk, the whole nine states, you're working for a corrupted system. And you're working for the elites, you know. They don't give a shit anyway, you know what I'm saying? But your family does at the end of the day. And you need people to realize and be more concerned and be more, you know, have more respect and just... Realize that, yo, life is not easy being a cop, man. The shit you deal with, this officer dealt with, and, you know, may she rest in peace, you know, condolences to her family. And it's just fucked up, man. People be scared, man. It's scary out there, man. You don't know, look at me, for example, you know, my job is to be scary too. You never know, man. Shit, it's no joke, man. People out there are crazy. People who are retaliated. There's haters out there that will hate on you. You know, they don't the fact that you succeed, the fact that, you know, 
they don't like that, and they will, re they will retaliate and by killing you or you know doing something else, man. The guy was sick in the head, you know. Could have been on some shit. It could have been. You never know. Could have been set up. Could have been, you know. I don't know. We just know that the officer's down. He was shot, and then at the end of the day, he got shot too. So you in the catch twenty two at the end of the day, guys. No matter if you're a cop, no matter if you're working at a regular fast food place, no matter what, we're all gonna deal with a catch twenty two, man. It's all about having faith, man. Alright, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.